Right now at four, the family of a teenage boy killed when an out of control car hits a suburban deli has been quiet until now. He should be finishing final exams, attending swim practice, and getting ready for Christmas with his family. Emotions were understandably high as the boy's mother spoke about the moments after that crash. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar is in the control room with more. Charlie. Jim and Marie, the car that killed, that hit and killed Sean Richards was pulling out of a car wash in downtown Hinsdale and in a new lawsuit filed today. Attorneys for the family say that similar incidents have happened at this same car wash before Sean's death. We want to make sure that no other family has to go through the hell that we're living. Public safety is one of the reasons Christine and Brian Richards say they are now suing Fuller's car wash and the 16 year old employee who was driving the car that struck and killed her son Sean last July. Christine witnessed the entire event and was laying on top of our son holding his lifeless body and trying to get help. Sean, an altar boy and Boy Scout, was walking to the library when a Jeep exited Fuller's car wash and fatally hit the 14-year-old. The Jeep smashed into a sub shop across the street. Fuller's knew that this incident was likely to happen. They knew that this could happen, and they took absolutely no reasonable steps to prevent this tragedy from occurring. After the crash, owner Doug Fuller installed concrete bollards without village permission. He says to prevent another incident. The this location is where you believe. Fuller spoke at an October planning commission meeting where he acknowledged at least two other additional crashes at the Hinsdale car wash. Three times in 78 years is just a freak of a nature thing, but it's just it's never going to happen on my watch. Why did it take our young son's death for them to take any action to protect the public, especially given their knowledge of prior incidents at this site? And in a statement, the Fuller family says in part, now that the legal process has begun, it does not change our heavy hearts and the grief we feel for the Richards family and the other families affected by this accident. Now, criminal charges will not be filed in this case. Coming up at five, you will hear more from the Richards family and their call for Fuller's car wash to move from its current location in Hinsdale. Live in the control room, I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Jim Murray. Thank you, Charlie.